All right, we're playing this game, whatever the hell it is. Never heard of it, so I guess I'm interested. Does seem like it has one of those um borders though, and it is a four by three game, so now I'm curious. Press start. I think this is like an original Xbox game. Yeah, it's definitely an original Xbox game. It has like that weird D-pad logo thing. Uh, how do I? Oh fuck! It even has like one of those like spinning disc things. Uh... God, this is so weird. <laughs> Start. No, no, fuck. <laughs> this is nothing like fucking, um, the Xbox 360's actual, like, typing utensil. So now I s No, start does that. No. Done? I'm guessing that's it. Done, okay. Oh. Uh. Wait, isn't this the- yeah, this is the Xbox game that has, um, the thing, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a very specific base. Uh, what is this? Play, features... And challenges, I'm guessing? Bonus challenge. Alright, let's just play the game. Oh, it is in 16x9, but only in that section. Everything else is in 4x3. That's weird. <laughs> this is very unrare like. I'm sure we should have taken a right back there. Now we're lost, and there's a storm coming. We need to find some shelter, and fast. Mm. Mm. How about in that old house? The totally not haunted mansion. This seems- this is just adding to trouble, you know? <laughs> what the f- Gruntilda or something? Who are you? Oh, that can't be good. That's right, my pet. Whoa, it looks like Luigi. <laughs> Come on in and say hello. Oh yeah. <laughs> so who are these two? What? What does that say? I can't read that pixelated fuck. No way. Let's carry on and try to make it to the next village. Places like this are always full of creeps or worse. Me? A creep? Baron von Nagul. How dare he? I do believe a lesson in manners is required here. Hmm. Is it me or does it kind of look like Luigi? It looks vaguely similar to, like, the facial structure and the nose of Wario, I guess. Wow. Oh no, our girlfriend slash sister slash acquaintance is being kidnapped. Who are you? <laughs> Princess kidnapped in another castle. You must go save her. Got it. <laughs> That's her story right there. At least I think. Um, yeah, so how does this gameplay go? How do you play this game? Yeah, this feels more like kind of like Secret Monkey Island or something. This is, doesn't look like a rare game whatsoever. This is supposed to be like whimsical and majestic and kind of cartoony. This one is going more cell shaded and... While it's presented as a comic book style, it doesn't look like a comic book whatsoever. I don't know what to think about this game, honestly. I don't know, maybe the gameplay is going to change me or something. But this is the game that, basically, people said that ruined Rare, right? Because this was like one of the first Xbox games made by Rare. Oh, yeah, the butler looks ugly. <laughs> um. Arg, The ghoulies! Leave me alone! Okay, so butler's a pussy. <laughs> Oh, 
Is this kind of like the Luigi's Mansion type of thing? Do I need a flashlight or some sort of vacuum in order to kill these guys? Oh hey, the game's now in 16 by 9 So it's only in cutscenes. I suggest, sir, use the left stick thumbstick to move and hold the right thumbstick in the direction he wishes to attack. I think those little critters are staying to... what? Okay. Emp. Uh... Oh, that's... okay. So the right stick is used in order to, for a direction to attack the enemy. So this is nothing like Luigi's Mansion because Luigi wouldn't kick the shit out of these guys. He would use the vacuum. Well done, sir, but certainly seem more capable of battling unarmed. In addition to your fist, you may cer use certain items to furniture and other objects as well. Look for the grab molesting hand icon. Mm. Press the A button to pick up the weapon and move the right stick. Okay. May I give you, may I give you cook special reinforced chair? Sadly, not everything is well made. I guess this is our tutorial section. So wait, if the right stick is attack, what the fuck's the camera? Uh. <laughs> Deary me, sir. Is lock, sir is locked in. This means you will have to complete a challenge to escape. The graystone rip icon means sir must defeat all the ghoulies in this room to complete the challenge. That's every last one. So get to it. The butler seems more like a dog rather than. A fancy man. Ow! It does have the same heart icon as Luigi's Mansion, from what I'm seeing. Ow. Oh man. The controls are awkward. Ah! Oh, screw off. The way you attack seems like... Kind of like I'm not sure if like, you're supposed to like make a full swing or just flick it. Yeah! I got it. Sure. It seems like you can only flick it. So, going to the right attacks you to the right, turn to the left attacks you to the left. What about up? Does that, down, shoots you backwards. You cannot uh, do a thrust attack though. Uh, oh, it's Persona styled! So it's using the left trigger and the right trigger to control the camera. Okay, that's cool. Um, okay, so do I beat the shit out of you now? Splendid, sir! You did it! You may now leave through this door and begin to search your friend. Grievance! Grievance is my name, and I'm the lonely butler here at the Ghoulhaven Hall. May I have the pleasure of- God damn it, phone, shut the hell up! <laughs> oh fuck, the ringer is still going because of this thing. Oh god, I'm gonna have to disable this stupid phone later on. Where's that phone that I just threw away? Uh, if only you could see the camera. If only I'd be face- like, I'm recording this using face cam. I didn't break it at least, but- uh. Ugh, whatever. Ugh. Anyways, where was I? Grievance is my name, and I'm the lonely butler here at Ghoul Heaven Hall. May I have the pleasure of making Sir's acquaintance? Oh, yeah! The name's Cooper, alright. Hmm. Pleased to meet you, sir. I shall pop. Okay. Hmm. So you're gonna be basically our tutorial guy. Oh, I also forgot, sir. May you discard weapons by pressing B. Handy, ooh, excuse me. Handy if Sir is carrying one weapon, or would rather use another. Let me. What the fuck? I'm not hearing any sound anymore. Let me also give you this map. Good luck to you, Sir. Uh, I'm not hearing any sound. Did I unplug my earphone or something? No. Hold on a minute, wait a minute, I'm, I'm not hearing anything. Did something fuck up in the recording or something? Hold on, I'm gonna disable the mic for a second, see if there's any audio coming out. Okay, so there's definitely audio. That's being recorded, hold on a minute, I'm gonna, what? <laughs> Okay, problem solved, I guess. I don't know what the fuck happened. For some reason, I wasn't able to hear anything. But, uh, everything seems to be fine for now. <laughs> this is fun. Alright, so, I think the combat system is 
not bad. It could have been a lot more improved. Especially the animation. It kind of looks really wonky and weird. And pathetic. I think that's what kind of fits into the character, at least. He's kind of pathetic little fucker. Um, Alright, so where do I go? Okay, so I cannot pick just anything up. I'd like to pick that base in order to... Um... Wait, how do I jump? There's no jump button? That's gonna be odd. Uh, this book. What's this? Rare? Weighty tome. Sir, has just picked up. Why, I do believe it's a bonus book. Keep your eyes... Okay, so it's just a piece of collectibles. Got it. Just like the Rare Institutes of Collectibles. Uh, wait, what? Oh, shit. Okay, so I cannot punch through those vines. And I cannot go overboard. So, where do I go? Is there, like, an open door somewhere that I just missed? What's over here? This looks like progress, I think. Or, nope, it's a dead end. Never mind. Uh, yeah, these places are filled with, um... Oh, shit, I keep forgetting. That the control stick does not use the camera. Do I go through that door? I'm guessing I go through that door. It's the only one that's open right now, so... See ya, sucker! <laughs> it's so weird that how, how it switches from, like... Chapter 1, the rescue. Got it. It's weird how it switches from 16 by 9 to 4 by 3. Just instantly like that. <laughs> Quick time events, really? Gadzooks! Sora has been suffered by a super scary shock and successfully overcome it! I hope it doesn't happen again. It's gonna happen again, is it? <laughs> that Banjo Kazooie. <sighs> All right, quick time events. The video game. And I see Kazooie speak. But speaking of which, is that bird gonna be the next one? No. I can't see Spyro too. And sh and uh, Shrek. <laughs> Is that bear gonna? Nope. No, it's that thing. B A X B. That's how you overcome your fears by pressing acquainted buttons. Jesus fuck. There's so many bats. You know. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion wasn't scary. This game's not any better. I'll be honest, if I had to be completely, um, perfectly honest with you guys, I did not like playing Luigi's Mansion. I thought that game was honestly really boring and the way the, the controls were weird. Ooh. Is that it? We got a rare book! Yay! Uh, I don't want to judge it from just the first 15 minutes, but so far... I'm not impressed. <sighs> The door has now opened, sir. Not all doors will trap you inside a room. It seems Sir May walked straight through this one. Did I mention that Sir May also... Yeah, got it. Thanks. By doing so, it's highly recommended. Yay. There's also some skeletons there. Can I beat the shit out of them? Skeleton! Okay. Bam! Just beat them to the curve! Get over here. You know, this, for a guy that's just constantly scared, he does beat the shit out of these enemies perfectly fine. Does he, Are you sure you're scared, dude? <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Bam. I got another rare replay. Do I get some milestones after this? No, I don't, I don't, I'm pressing select. Like nothing happens. I like the way um the game presents itself in like a comic book setting, I guess. Mm-hmm. Mm Help me. How can I? S okay. I guess that's what. I oh, that doesn't look like a face. That's gonna. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm here to save the day. Oh yes. I'm assuming that's his girlfriend from the way. <laughs> Ooh. 
Dude, really? You beat the shit out of these guys before. You don't need to be scared. Oh, cripes. I think the cinema is on the other side of that wall. Sir, can reach it by going back to the billboard room, I believe. Okay. Gaming room. By Jove, sir appears... I don't like this, but they keep saying sir a lot. I'm not a sir. I'm fucking Cooper, I think. That's my name, right? The key icon means sir must find the key. Got it. Okay. So I need to find the key. But that's okay. I can also beat the shit out of these guys, too. I got the grabby booty gang. Ha! Ha! Oh, shit. This thing's, like, powerful as hell. Oh, but it also breaks over time. Is that out of the enemies? Oh, fuck. Off! Oh, piece of shit. Is that it? <laughs> it also kind of has, like, that sound effect from, um... That kind of Pikmin sound effect, right? Yeah. Oh, you're dead already. Yay. Oh, I keep forgetting. There's no jump button. At least from what I'm noticing. Hey, isn't that the game that we just played? Oh, so is that one. Whoa, hello. How convenient. This is like the gunfight game. And that's a jetpack game. Whoever this mansion zones or belongs to must be a really huge rare fan. Are these things like infinitely um, respawning? I think they are infinitely respawning. So I'm going to find this goddamn key of sorts. Where the hell it is. Well, I guess trying to defeat these guys. Uh, um, excuse me, sir, but aren't you supposed to be searching? Fuck off! That's what I'm doing! I just, I'm just being sidetracked, that's all. There's, wow, there's a lot. Wow, there's a lot of Xbox games here! Some of them seem to be poured of, like, very old games, too. Oh, hey, there's Conker's Bat for a day. Uh. And that's all I recognize. Uh, okay. Oh, hi, Xbox. <laughs> uh. So, those things are breakable. I was just going to an assumption because, hold on, are these base breakable too? Yeah, it is. But holy shit, they're enemies! Fuck off! Uh. Alright. Alright, so, <laughs> I just essentially broke someone's Xbox. Sorry, sir. Oh, hey, hello. More, uh, things to break. This guy's like a vandalist kind of person. And also, what the hell is this game? Cookie. Is this also a rare game from the rainbow? I'm assuming this is also made by LJN or something. Uh. Haha. <laughs> uh. I want to break the pile of games, too. <laughs> oh, hey, I can see the games more clearly now. Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Uh, whatever the hell this Xbox game is. I'm crushing to death. Uh, that's Attic Attack. More attic attacks. Do, do you really need more copies of fucking attic attacks for you with you? Oh, that seems like the only way I could. Okay. I want to use these games as like. Oh, they instantly break. Uh, uh, I don't think I could use these games as like um, projectile weapons or something like that. Oh come on! I can't keep my items to the next room. Well, that sucks. All right, so we're supposed to go to the billard room. Here we are again. Oh hey, there's a rare replay thing. Uh, there's a baddie. What? <laughs> Think you're doing well, eh? Let's see how you cope with having your maximum energy interfered with. In fact, I do believe I shall tinker with your tinker in every room from now on. I'm so dastardly, yes I am. Wah! <laughs> Shit. Okay. Yeah, I'm back here again. Uh, oh hey, this door's now open, so... I guess I'm going to the... Oh! You guys want a piece of this shit too? Let's go! Bring it! There's eight of these? Hmm. A ghouly head icon number. Yeah, I got I get it! I get it with the stop with the tutorials. I could I can comprehend what's going on, okay? Those numbers represent the amount of enemies. I get it. Alright, is there an item that I could use? Seems like um interactable objects are a lot more better. Like the trophy! Let me see if I can use this thing. Yes, I can. All right. Uh, anyone? I threw it. I was kind of hoping I'd use it as a... Oh, what? Um, whatever. Okay. Um, mm. I'm doing perfectly fine, I think. Yeah, these guys are only giving me out of, like, one HP. Yeah, this animation looks really weird. Uh. Mm. Uh, ah! Oh, yeah, do the roundhouse cake or something. 
I guess I'm getting used to the attacks at least. I mean, I guess it is pretty interesting to use the attacks, use the right stick uh, as attacks. <laughs> you know, there's still some left, right? You're not necessarily done just yet. It's only required to beat a certain amount of enemies. Oh, I could use these. Uh, I could have used these things as weapons. Yeah, that wouldn't have really more effective, but. Yeah, I can't escort weapons from room to room, unfortunately. Does this game also autosave? Lower quarters. Here, let me see if this game autosaves. Coast is clear, sir. We'll find a cinema room and blah blah. Map. Game stats. Quit or return to menu. I'm just gonna assume this game auto saves. Whatever. Okay, that was Ghost and Ghoulies. Whatever the hell this game is called. <laughs> that was, uh, okay, I guess. I mean, I'll say it's. I mean, the way the internet presents the whole Xbox phenomenon, I thought it would have been worse, honestly. I was kinda expecting it to go really, really downhill, but that one was just okay. I mean, it wasn't too terrible, at least, but I could definitely see the charm of Rare Rare games not there. Also, I've unlocked a new video. Nah, I'll watch that on my own time. Alright, so the ne next part will be covering Cameo Elements of Power. Alright, stay tuned for that, guys. Alright, so first impression so far, this game looks very majestical. That that's about it. I'm not sure. I have no clue as to what this game is all about. I noticed that woman was on a... Oh, this is a 360 game. Huh. Uh, from first assumptions, I thought that was like one of those original Xbox game Rare developed or something. But no, this is actually a 360 game. I didn't know that. And it needs a fucking update, really? Oh, it's one of those things, huh? Alright. Alright, fine. I'll deal with your fucking update. I'm gonna have to skip you, though. Um, actually, speaking of which, um, is Banjo-Tooie and... I guess Perfect Dark done? And Banjo-Kazooie as well? I really don't want to deal with all that. Okay, you know what? Fuck it, I'll deal with that. Well, I guess now that we're on the 360 titles now, that means... the rest of the games from onward now require installation? That's my guess, at least. Hold on, wait, hold on. Maybe It's all my, my games and apps, right? Oh, boy. <laughs> I am not looking forward to this one. I'm doing this because I feel like there's going to be like, up yeah, it needs an update. Alright, so I think we have to wait for the whole update thing. In the meantime, I'm going to try going to the Banjo-Kazooie area. I guess this is also a point five episode. That or it's going to be attached to the end of the previous part or something. I have no idea. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be having... I'm actually going to be editing for once, actually. We're removing, <coughs> We're removing some parts. Changing out some parts. Jesus, fuck, this is like a clear, almost like a one gigabyte update, really? Oh boy, this is gonna take forever. Um, what other games? Jetpack. That seems like that looks like a 360 game. Might as well just get all this installation over and done with. So might as well. Uh, Jetpack Refuel needs an update. How much is this update? If you don't mind, uh, hurrying the fuck up and telling me. It's maybe because of my internet connection. Who knows? God, how many updates am I doing now? Four fucking games? Oh, I guess Perfect Dark's not done, but not Banjo-Tooie. Again, I guess... Uh, I, we should probably go back to Banjo-Kazooie now, huh? And finish up that whole thing. Yeah, Perfect Dark's done. I'm guessing Perfect Dark Zero's next. And two Viva Pinata games. Oh boy. Alright, yeah, so I'll be right back. We're gonna finish the whole updating thing. And, yeah, we skipped Banjo Kazooie. I think I should probably, um, do that whole cloud thing. Might be a tedious process, but okay, whatever. I'll deal with it or something. So, be right back. <laughs> 